We turn now to Afghanistan, where a wave of violence threatens to disrupt this Saturday's presidential election. It is a critical test of that nation's stability as American troops draw down and leave after a dozen years of war. The attacks have been brazen and deadly of late, including one 12 days ago that left a two-year-old boy fighting for his life. It happened in the heart of the city of Kabul, in a place that was supposed to be safe. Our chief foreign correspondent Richard Engel reports from Kabul. It's a wonder two-year-old Abu Zar is alive at all. Attackers shot him four times, including in the head. Doctors here fought to save his life. When he woke up from a coma, his 17-year-old aunt was there, but not his parents. They were dead, killed by the same men who shot him. These men, walking through the gate of Kabul's upscale, supposedly safe, Serena Hotel. They were searched, but not thoroughly. They had pistols hidden in their shoes, undetected. They walked to the hotel restaurant and started shooting. The first thing I hear is just a bunch of popping. I hear gunshots. Kim Motley, an American lawyer, had just checked in. She represents Afghan rape victims and works to free foreigners from Afghan jails. She knows how dangerous it can be here. Did you think you were going to die that night? I thought it was a possibility. It was the closest I've ever come to thinking that I was going to die. By the time police arrived, six people were injured. Nine were dead, including Abu Zar's brother and sister, ages five and six, his mother, who had pleaded for her children's lives, and his father, respected Afghan journalist Sardar Ahmed. This is one of the most dangerous countries for journalists, but it's unclear if Sardar and his family were targeted because of his work or just caught up in an attack on a hotel full of foreigners. Sardar's older brother, Shah Mohammed Rais, is also well known here as the bookseller of Kabul, made famous by the book of the same name. So you warned him not to go to places like that? Many, many times. Don't go to the restaurants yeah, yeah. where My foreigners son, go. No, no, no. Many, many times I warned him. He and his brother embodied Afghanistan's best hope, educated, moderate, making a difference. Now they're being gunned down with their families. If the Taliban say themselves that we are Muslims or human beings, and they shoot these innocent people, they should change themselves. If they don't change, it means all the world should unite against them. Abu Zar is recovering. When he's strong enough, Abu Zar will move to Canada to live with relatives. They don't see a future for him here. Richard Engel, NBC News, Kabul.